Good morning. Our gathering hymn is number 410, The Advent of Our God, number 410. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we who await with a heartful desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who loves and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and uh, ever. Amen. <clears throat> Our reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies, the sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like the lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts, who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness, and fullness of, of peace, peace forever. forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice, Justice shall, shall flourish, flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice, justice shall flourish in his time and, and fullness of peace, of peace forever. <clears throat> justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed, all the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice, Justice shall flourish in his time, time and, and fullness, fullness of peace, peace forever. forever. with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew the book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ the son of David son of Abraham Abraham became the father of Isaac Isaac the father of Jacob Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Sarah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron, the father of Ram. Ram, the father of Abinadab. Abinadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse, the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abijah. Abijah, the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Josaphat. Josaphat became the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Sheatiel. Sheatiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abuid. Abuid became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eluid. Eluid, the father of Eliazar. Eliazar, became the father of Mathan. Mathan became the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 
14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. We are coming very close to this joyful celebration. And the liturgy reminds us the same. Tomorrow, December 18th, we begin the second phase of the Advent and a time of immediate preparation. The liturgy of today reminds us two things. First, what we call, we listen to the first reading of today, the blessing that is handed over from generation to generation. Abraham, before his death, blessed his son Isaac. And Isaac had two sons, but the younger one got the blessing. Now Jacob, though Judah is the oldest, he got the blessing, but the genealogy comes from Joseph. So the blessing is handed on from generation to generation. You know, just like the papacy you know there is no you know from the first Pope Peter to the present one secondly Matthew writes the gospel to the Jewish audience that's why he begins with the genealogy at the very outset he has two things to tell, to tell them. So he tells the Jewish audience that I'm going to talk about someone. He is none other than the much awaited Messiah. He is the promised one. And he comes from the lineage of Abraham that's why he begins the genealogy with Abraham their forefather and secondly from chapter 5 onwards you know after G Jesus gives what we call the Beatitudes he gives his what he called golden teaching. Your forefather said this, but I tell you. The scribes and the Pharisees, whenever they have a dispute, they would always look at Moses. What did Moses say? Now Jesus tells that he is the second Moses. Or he is the author of Torah itself. That's why he can tell with authority, I tell you. Your forefather said, you know, love your, love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I tell you, hate your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. That's Matthew tells about a new era that the Messiah is going to usher in. And that is the time of the immediate preparation. Yes, already our trees are up, two of the trees, and all decorations are coming in, all beautiful things. But above all, 
the liturgy reminds us to take the word or the values of Jesus into our hearts and live out those values and principles. That is the gospel values. Please rise. <clears throat> Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings for Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, all the leaders of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord Christians all over the world, preparing themselves for the celebration of this joyful event that may take to their heart the word of God and strive to live out them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our this time of the year, a sparkly joyful Christmas celebration may be a joyful event all over the world which may bring peace to everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For the spiritual and physical well-being of all operationers, we pray to the Lord. Lord For an increase of vocation to priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the sick and suffering, especially those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord In the silence of our hearts, let us place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Agnes Girak, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. As we are entering the immediate time of the preparation for the joyful event of God becoming man, grant us the grace to open our hearts and minds to accept the word of God and to live them out in our daily lives. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
For our sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no, no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thorns and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without the end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving things, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, say, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, <coughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in the mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seek ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream, those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our sending song, number 422, The King Shall Come, number 422.